So, before we start, I have to make you aware that everything up here is covered in spiders. Absolutely everything, and it's really uncomfortable. But there's actually one attached to me right now. This is very, anyway, so uh, if you do, I'm going to speak here later today. I'm very sorry, it's all spiders. Anyway, welcome to Electromag Electromagnetic Field 2022. Uh, I know we normally run yet late, but two years is a new record for us, so I'm very sorry about that. It's really weird to be stood here again. Um, this is the most people I've seen in a couple of years now. But thank you all for coming back. Um, I don't know how many people have been here before, but I know this has been an interesting event for us. Um, we'll sort of we'll get into it. But this year is 10 years since we started doing this. Um, <laughs> And for those who don't know, this was never intended to happen. We didn't intend to have a festival this big. Um, we intended to go camping for a weekend, and things got wildly out of hand. <laughs> I'm really surprised that this is still going, to be honest. So thank you for coming back. Just because it's interesting for me, how many people came to EMF 2012 in the audience? Can you please raise your hand? That's quite a lot. <laughs> So there are only, only, I think, 400 people at that. So this is a surprising number. And who is attending EMF for the very first time? Wow. Interesting. Probably more for you than me, but yeah, very interesting. And just for a final one, who has been to every single EMF event? And I'm going to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to include electromagnetic wave in as well. How many people went to that one as well? It's the same people, OK. <laughs> We're calling you the true fans. Keep, keep coming back. So thank you for coming back as well. Uh, those people will know all the trials and tribulations we've been through over the years. Uh, and if you get them drunk in the bar, I'm sure they'll tell you about some of the terrible things we've done as well that we won't do again. So obviously, we had to cancel EMF 2020. Uh, which we weren't happy about. We'd spent a year working on it, we got to that point. Um, but nobody told one of the beloved robots that we have on site. And that robot actually turned up on site anyway. And was here on the right weekend. I think it might actually have been here ever since. I'm not sure. It's still here now. So, <laughs> But obviously, this event has not been smooth sailing this year for many reasons that you're aware of, but also a lot that you're not aware of. But I'd like to quote myself from 2018 when I said this. It has been the hardest event we've ever done. This has been unbelievably brutal for all of us who've worked on it. Uh, we are all broken. Um, this event almost did not happen several times for many different reasons. Those are the words of someone doesn't, who does not know how bad it can get. <laughs> Just, yeah. This has been so much worse. <laughs> um, it's, it's a real mix of things, and everyone goes, oh, it's COVID. It's like, well, a bit of it's COVID, but Brexit's been a real problem for us. Um, it, it's been very hard to get things into the country. Our volunteers are a problem. And the big one, really, is the fact that we're up against the Queen, and apparently she's quite popular. So. <laughs> That's been really awkward for us. So the team has been incredible. We've all worked really hard on this for months and months, in, in, in fact, years at this point. Um, but the last six months has been extra hard. And unfortunately, we've had to make compromises. And those who were here in 2018 will remember that we had problems with tents then. And this time, we have all the big tops. That's, that's great. But the little tents are a bit more of a problem. And some things that we would normally have, we don't have. So we've got different toilets than we would like. Um, they're, they're fine, but they're not the ones we want. We don't have the, a lot of equipment facilities that we would normally have. We just can't get them. Um, we cannot get a lot of the things we need. So the, our infrastructure is not what it normally is. And we ask that you keep this in mind during the event. Please don't treat it in an abusive way. Some people like to stress, stress, uh, stress test our network. We're asking you don't do that this time, because it is probably not going to take it. And that's worse for everyone, including us. So 
Also, along with the, the toilets, I hate bringing up toilets, but we have to talk about this, we don't have that many accessible toilets. Please don't use them unless you really need to use them, because they need to be kept for people who actually need to use them. Uh, there are a limited number on site. This is awkward for us. Um, we also ask that you don't mess with any site infrastructure, even if it's really exciting and has big red buttons. Do not press any of the big red buttons. Do not unplug anything and try and be helpful. You are almost certainly not being helpful. This has happened twice already. So power outages are rubbish, and we don't want any more of them. Um, and also, please don't take anything you didn't hire. People seem to think that it's okay to just take bits of equipment, and then we don't know what happened to them, and someone has to run around for ages. So just please don't do that either. Uh, and most of all, please be kind to everyone who's making this happen. Everyone who does this is a volunteer. Every single person is unpaid doing this just for their own fun. I am one of those people. We buy our own tickets to the event. I'm going to have to go back and forward on that, and I forgot to set it to loop. Here we go. Um, so this is what's happened over the last week. In fact, we've actually been here a bit longer than a week. But you'll know all the big tents go up, and then nothing happens for ages, and then suddenly everyone arrives, um, which was pretty much how it's gone. It's been very quiet and then very busy. But this is uh, from a drone that's been taking the same photos every single day for the last week. And I'm very proud of the team who's done this event, because this has been extremely hard for them to get together. And if it isn't quite clear, there's a lot of stuff that happens in this field. Um, and what you can't see from here is the sheer number of cables. And it is truly many kilometers of cables. So you know, keep an eye. But this here I'd like to do something different. Uh, most people who've been to EMF before know that at the end of the event, we thank everyone then. But we're all knackered, and we could really do with a bit of support. So I'd like to thank all the team who are, there, who are on site now, who are working, some of them are in this tent, some of them are running around the field, some of them are quite far away, all the way down in Null Sector. And the closing ceremony is always a bit quieter because people have left site. But you're all here now. So I would like you all to give the loudest round of applause you possibly can so we can hear it at the other end of the site and everyone can actually hopefully hear that, what you, that you'll want them to be there. Go. I'd also like to give a special thanks to all the partners of everyone on the team because they've suffered through this probably more than we have. So I just want to make sure they get recognised too. And of course, we're all volunteers and we're still volunteering and you're all going to volunteer at this event, aren't you? So <laughs> we all need your help. So everything here is run by volunteers on site. Um, we need people to do everything from manning cameras like people just here, running AV, uh, just checking things are going okay on the site, shipping things around, making sure, making sure things are going okay. Uh, we have, oh, and everyone loves running in the bar, obviously, but if you can spare an hour or two during the event, we will feed you, we will make sure you're looked after, and we really need your help. Every hour you, you help out makes it slightly easier for us and slightly less stressful. Um, you can sign up on the website, and you can also go to the info desk just next to the bar. Please volunteer if you can. Also, if you can stay for teardown on Monday, if it, probably till around sort of 5 p.m., that would be really useful because we're all knackered by that point and we really can't get everything down uh, and it really is a lot of work. So if everyone can do that, that would be great. Anyway, that was all the sort of necessary bits I need to cover, so let's do the fun bits instead. So I'm excited to talk about lots of new things we have at EMF this year. So first up, we have the reef, which is for all the smaller people on site. The reef is new, it's an area which you will see because there's giant waving robots down there. But it is a family area, it has a lounge, it has a mini maker space for kids to make things in, it has a workshop, it has baby changing, and it has giant inflatable tentacle robots, which are the most important part. So if you have small children, you would, that's where you need to be heading. There's also a crash as well if you need that. We also have an on-site shop for, for the second time ever, but the first time was a long time ago. Um, but you can buy things like milk and also other critical camping accessories like soldering irons. So <laughs> that will be open every day, and uh, you can hopefully pick out, or also order in things there as well. So if you've forgotten tent pegs or something, please don't forget tent pegs. Then they should be able to sort you out. Um, also, our workshops are different this year. Our workshops are hosted by the villages. So 
this time, if you go to a workshop, you'll be going into a village run by a group of people with a common set of interests. Hopefully, that means you'll discover something new and you can meet some new people, make, make some friends. Otherwise, you would have been in a tent, which is quite separate. So hopefully that will work. Um, and also, there is, of, of course, the abandoned research facility at the north end of the site, uh, which will open at 7 p.m. tonight. So I look forward to that myself. I have not been yet, so we'll see what go that happens. Uh, and also, we have a new version of our own beer. So on the bar, you will find the Dynamo beer that was brewed specifically for this event. Um, it is delicious. I recommend you drink it while stocks last, because it all goes in like the first day. So <laughs> get in quickly. And for the first time in a decade, the very first time, the badges are available now. So, we've kept this quite quiet, because if you've noticed, there's been some supply chain problems around the world for the last year. And honestly, we didn't have them until about five days ago. So it's been a bit stressful. But this is the EMF Tidal badge. Um, it is the latest in our line of badges. It has a USB-C socket and plugs directly into your laptop or phone, if you must. Um, it has a very high-resolution tiny screen on it, uh, an accelerometer, a magnetometer, full USB support, and an onboard cryptography chip for doing interesting cryptography things. Uh, you do not need to install any software on your laptop to use this. It runs in, it, all, all the entire development environment runs in the browser, so you can just open a browser and start working on it straight away. Uh, we have an app store, it has Wi-Fi, of course. Um, and also, it is designed to be like a USB stick, because after the event, and we're not launching this during the event for reasons that will become clear later, um, this works as a U2F dongle, which some people will understand what that means, but it means that you can use it to securely authenticate with websites. So instead of using a password, you can use this, uh, and it cannot be hacked in any reasonable way. So. It also has the very popular torch mode. <laughs> so, uh, these will be available for collection from the badge tent, I believe, immediately after this talk, but maybe it will be a bit later. Go and check for signs. Um, there are 2,000 ready to go right now. Uh, if that, those run out, they'll be a bit more a bit later on. But uh, there is also workshops and talks about the badge later on. If you want to hear how they made it and all the trials and tribulations they went through, there is a talk on Sunday. This is not the first badge they designed, it was just the one they could make. So I recommend going to that talk. So, if you were here in 2018, you will also know that we tasked a satellite to image the site. Unfortunately, it didn't work because it was cloudy the entire time because it's the UK. But this came back afterwards and you can see quite clearly where Null Sector was because all the grass is dead. So, <laughs> it was slightly unfortunate, but this was the best we managed to do. Of course, we're doing it again. So, this time Planet Labs are helping us out. So Planet Labs have satellites that are going to be imaging the site every single day. Unfortunately, I don't know what times they're going to be imaging the site, so you're going to have to lie in place on the ground for a really long time to hope you get there. <laughs> and like smile occasionally at the clouds and see if, I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's going to be hard. But they will be taking photos every day, hopefully more than once a day, so we'll get some nice pictures of the site. If you want to lay things out on the ground to try and write things to space, you know, go nuts. Also, and this is a bit unusual, Planet Labs are going to be launching some satellites later this year, and they're letting us decorate them. <laughs> so three satellites later this year will be launching, and they will have artwork on the sides of them etched into the side of the satellites that will be supplied by attendees of this event. <laughs> we might just write cyber on the side of it. Yeah, I don't know yet. But it's, um, Details of how this is going to work will emerge later in the event. This may happen after the event. We're not quite sure yet. Its details are still being worked out. But we're hoping to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to get something on a satellite in orbit, um, which obviously doesn't really matter to this event, but it's still pretty cool. So, and, it will, and also, these satellites will be in orbit for the next EMF. So you'll be able to point at them or something. I don't know. <laughs> Finally, we need to make sure everyone has a safe and enjoyable time at EMF. Uh, COVID is still a problem. People are falling ill with COVID all the time. We have lost several speakers. Um, some of those speakers will be presenting over Zoom. Some of them cannot make it now. We want you all to be as safe as possible. So if you can, please test daily. Make sure you're actually checking yourself. Please mask if you're in crowded spaces. There are some tents which will be much more crowded than others. The airflow in all of them is pretty good, so don't be too concerned, but just worth saying. Um, 
if you need tests, tests are available for free if you have symptoms from the first aid tent, or they're available at cost from the shop. Um, and our first aid team are around 24-7 to help you if you have any health issues whatsoever, anything if you've got a cut, you've fallen over, or you feel ill, or whatever. Um, the most important thing, though, is, as ever, do not look into the lasers with your remaining eye. The first aid team cannot help you with that. So that is all the notices I have for this. The final thing we have is to thank all the sponsors that made this happen this year. So what a lot of people don't realize is that the ticket price for EMF just pays for the basic infrastructure cost of this event. It pays for the tents, it pays for the power, it pays for everything to happen. It doesn't pay for any of the shiny things. It doesn't pay for the childcare, it doesn't pay for the badge, it doesn't pay for all the extra nice things we have. All of that we need sponsorship for, and it's so we can keep the ticket cost as low as possible for you. It, it's hard for us to do that. Everything has been very, very expensive this year. Fuel costs have been astronomical, and it, this is just what it's cost. But all these sponsors are on site. If you see them, please thank them. Um, they will all love to hear from you. And that is everything I have to say. So have fun. And then we'll see you back here on Sunday at, I think, 7 PM. I scheduled that. I should know. But I genuinely can't remember. Uh, and then I need to get off the stage, because in 20 minutes, this stage becomes the first talk. And all the other stages start at the same time, and all the workshops, and the whole site lights up. So thank you very much for coming. I hope you have a wonderful time. Do say thank you to any volunteers you see. If you see someone wearing high vis, thank them. Give them a hug, maybe. If they want a hug. <laughs> Definitely optional on the hugs. So. No more hits. <laughs> right, you can all leave and go to the bar now. Thanks, everyone. See you in the field.